Hiya. Um, we've got a wee bit behind in our potato game this year. Um, they're growing out of all the beds anyway, just because potatoes grow ev Whoop! Potatoes grow everywhere. Um, but, yeah, because of one thing and another, we didn't get an actual batch planted properly like we do. Um, but I just want to show you how easy it is to grow potatoes from basically nothing at all. I mean, you, you can put peelings into the compost bin and sometimes you get you end up with a whole load of potatoes by mistake. Um, so, and so it just means that there's, there's no real reason for chucking out a potato ever, even if it looks disgusting. So, I found this one in it's not disgusting, it's a bit of it's a wee bit green. It's it's not ideal for eating, but it's it's not the worst. You could cut off the green if you wanted to and still eat it. Um but it's also got some little sprouty bits on it, some little eyes. So um I'm just gonna plant this. So what I did was I just cut it. Um I could have just peeled it, but I think it probably won't have enough uh Feed, it'll probably dry out too much if I peel it um, and it'll be a, a wee bit of a risk um, if it dries out in here, if it doesn't keep watered. So what I've done is just cut it, not in half, but you know, a slice of it. Um, there should be enough juice in here to keep it going, um, but you don't want this cut end going straight down straight into the soil so you have to leave it overnight just till it dries so it's not wet to touch um, and that's basically like it forming the skin um, and then you just all these little bits here these little sprouty bits um, they want to be upwards because that's where the leaves are going to come from so you just have a pot put it in and you don't need to bury it too deep and this can go straight out into one of your beds as well. I'm doing it in a pot just now, um, just so as I can watch it really, see when it when it comes away, how long it takes, and uh, make sure it's watered as well. So we've got our other potatoes out there. Um, I don't really want it mingling with them, or we won't we won't know what's what. So that's it. It's in the pot. I'll give it a wee water, quite a, a good water, and just stick it outside. Um, and then. As I was looking through my potatoes, I also found right at the back of the cupboard these things. And these are really, I mean, there's nobody's going to eat them. They are proper squidgy, sprouted, really quite disgusting. But they're still dying to grow because they're potatoes. So I'm going to plant them as well. There's a fair few of them. and. There's no sense in wasting them, and I actually think they're going to come away. So I'm just going to do, I'll put a couple of them in one pot. Should I have maybe done this? When they grow these sort of whitey roots out of them, it's not great. It's it does actually weaken the the potato. Um, some people think it's great, but it's it's not really. It's what you want when it's sprouting is green sprouts to come out um, that are like little leaves. But it's a uh, it's something. So stay in that pot and. Once they start to grow up a bit, um, I'll put them in with the rest as well and we'll see how they get on. Um, also, once they're in with the rest, you've probably grown potatoes before, but if you haven't, you just keep adding more compost on to almost cover the leaves um, and then they'll grow more donkeys from um, from the where it's grown, where it's, where it's covered up. Um, it's dead easy, as long as you keep them watered, um, give them a wee feed, it's it's a great thing to grow and you end up with loads and loads. Um, so yeah, give it a bash and never throw away a potato. Okay, thanks.